for a little walk? No, it's raining. Bloody rain. Bloody rain. Sydney just full on rain. So we're going to the zoo. And finally, I'm going to test out the 100 to 400. It's taken a year, but I'm finally here <laughs> when I whinged about not reaching out to 400 millimeters with the zoo, uh, at the zoo. So check this out, 800 millimeters wildlife safari adventure in a bag no bigger than a handbag <laughs> in my Onwa Browery. So fits perfect, just right, perfect. And then I'll just chuck in my vlogging gear and there's a day out vlogging zoo wildlife adventures. Hey Jerry. Oh Jerry. Oh, Jerry, we can't go, Jerry. They won't let you in. The tigers will eat you, Jerry. I know you're a big sooky. Huh? You're a big sook. Here. Yes, you're a big sooky. Sorry, Jerry. What we'll do tomorrow we'll go. Yes, I know you get a little you get excited. All right, Jerry, off to the zoo. G'day, it's how you going? So, at the zoo. <laughs> Tried to take Jerry out for a walk, but it just keeps raining, stopping raining, starting raining, stopping raining. I don't know, what the hell. So, there's breaks in the weather here and there, but I thought, let's go do it quick. There's a Tino, Tippy... Tippy Tino or Tino, Tino the Rhino. That's a new addition to the zoo. So, got the old uh, bazooka with me. Okay, so it's the first time I've ever seen the cheetah. I don't, usually he's sleeping or hiding. I take a few photos there. It's not doing much, but what can you do? It's not the best enclosure. Oh, hang on, there's one there. G'day mate. Come on Olympus, focus. I'll try and zoom in as best I can. <laughs> Come on Olympus, focus. There he is. <laughs> hey, Olympus, focus. Alright, well, let me take a photo of him. So we're approaching the rhino now. Yeah. Let's have a look at him. He's a new addition to the to the zoo. And here he is here. Let's have a look at him. Uh, there's only one of them, I think. I think his name is T Tino or Tino the rhino. Tino the Rhino. There he is. There's a oh, bit of movement. It's full on excitement here. Come on, Tino, Tino, Tino. Tippy Tino Rhino. Alright, let's see if I can get a shot here now that he's showing himself off a bit. I must admit, with the extra 100 millimeters on top of the 300 that I brought out last time, shots like this uh, are advantageous, I guess. It's just the, these ones are a little bit further away, so the further the way, obviously. So yeah, awesome. The 100-400 paid off. I can get really good shots here now. What the hell's on? What the hell's barnacles on his horn? <laughs> hey Barney. Yeah, the only problem at the zoo. Or the backdrop. I'm gonna try and find a good angle, but yeah, good luck. It's too many 
too many fences. I wonder why they put all these fences up at the zoo. <laughs> Surely rhinos aren't that dangerous. So I like the contour. I might try black and white. You know, all those creases. I think he's a young one. Okay, so I've tried, I've put on the digital teleconverter. I've completely forgotten about the digital teleconverter. I mean, all that does is just crops in um, internal in the camera. So it's not really giving you that zoom. So technically, is this 1600 millimeters then? Technically, 1600 millimeters. Now, the beauty of uh, a tele zoom is that you can get the full shot as well. Because if I was at 300, all right, I'm at 300 now. Let's go to 300. That's all I'd get. I'd have to bloody pan. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll go back to 100. You know, you can take the whole shot. up to 800 equivalent I show you I mean you can't get any closer than this let's zoom in oh wow I mean I'm pretty close here anyway but still yeah that's awesome Thank you, thank you Olympus, 100, 400, 800. I mean, I can't even get a full body shot. We're even at the 100. Yeah, really good. Okay, that's one hell of a tippy tail. <laughs> I'll take a shot of a tippy tail there. No, mate. You got a bigger tippy tail than Jerry. Yeah, so like, what you're doing is you're compromising on light extra stops. So if you're going to go with the 300 millimeter, you're going to get the more aperture. Your aperture is going to open up. Um, you're going to get better light because of the aperture, but you're going to sacrifice the zoom range. So you got the best, of, you know, you got to choose which one do you want. Now, I, was, I, meant, I think I was talking, I mentioned, I, I was chatting, I left a comment on Rob Trek's uh, video, well, one of his questions, he says, which one do you, which one's best, which one would you buy? And I'm thinking, you're always zoomed out to 300 anyway, or 400 in this case. So you might as well get the 300 millimeter lens because that lens has is better, you know, it's better than this. So if you're always at 300 millimeters anyway, and they're the shots that you're going to keep, you know, they're the keepers, those shots, they're the ones that you want. So get the 300 because that's f4, and at f4. Um, better light and it's apparently it's sharper lens anyway because it's a pro so that's one way of looking at it but obviously you're going to sacrifice the zoom factor so you've got to I think really in, at the end of the day the best thing would be sacrifice the zoom for the extra uh, light gathering aperture plus the sharper lens as well anyway. <laughs> That's just a couple of thoughts, a couple of ideas, if anyone's in, in the market for a, uh, a bazooka. <laughs> Thank you.